if you think about it, it could end up being the biggest story we cover, right, over the next decade or so, the race between the U.S. and China. And today's news is about this Chinese company called uh, DeepSeek. And it, it says it trained an AI model for this amount, 5.6 million, less than $6 million, which would be really, really cheap to do something like that. They say they were using uh, 2,000 NVIDIA chips that are much less powerful than what U.S. space companies are using. So it's kind of one of those things you see and say, well, that is huge, if true. And um, DeepSeek claims it is true, and it claims it has capabilities in multiple languages, can tailor responses to specific needs, uh, technical, formal, casual, uh, you name it. So let's compare and contrast here a little bit. The 5.6 million compares to maybe up to a billion for an American company. And Profit, the American developer, says its model costs somewhere between 100 million and $1 billion to build. So that's when you start to think why this could be such a big deal. So if the Chinese are able to do it for like 5 million and it's costing us a billion to do, to do it, that is a big deal. DeepSeek says it, it uses older NVIDIA chips because the state-of-the-art chips that companies in the U.S., like Meta and OpenAI, are using are not available in China because we don't allow them to have them, all the sanctions and what have you that are meant to prevent AI breakthroughs by Chinese companies like this one. So we're doing that to try to prevent this, and it happens anyway. Not great, right? Here's DeepSeek, number one. This is the uh, the App Store. Uh, they just launched last week, and they're topping the free downloads chart. Uh, just ChatGPT second. So it's DeepSeek and ChatGPT. That's today's list as of uh, this afternoon. So uh, pretty good. Now, the newest model is being called, as we talked about at the top of the hour, the Sputnik moment by Mark Andreessen, who's been a big deal out in the Silicon Valley uh, for years and years, co-founder of Netscape, and now actually... He was a Democrat for years, but now he's an advisor to President uh, Trump, kind of like Elon Musk in some ways, just not as, uh, as vocal maybe. But that, uh, he, those comments have a lot of people talking. Boy, is this a, a wake-up call, a big moment?